Board high five. Hello everybody and welcome to Ochiba Wolf Collection or welcome back if you guys are a subscriber of mine. You guys always get a special welcome back because I love you guys very much. Today my husband is joining us for another Primitive and Sailor Moon collaboration video. Sure. We promised you guys that a complete skateboard setup was coming to this channel and today's the day. So Kurt, what's in store for today's video? First of all, we're going to set up this team deck. We're going to be setting this one up for aesthetic purposes, which means we're going to try to color match everything best to the aesthetic of the board. We have lots of pinks, lots of whites, lots of silver. This is so, going to be a cute board. It's going to be a very cute board. <laughs> this is actually for a friend of mine, my best friend actually, Sin. A lot of you guys may know her as Sailor Moon Obsession on social media. She did ask me when these boards came out if I could ask Kurt if he would set her up a complete cute Sailor Moon skateboard and that's what we're going to show you guys today. And we also decided that Kurt is going to walk you through this uh, completely because we know some of you guys wanted to set up a Sailor Moon skateboard for the first time. So he wanted to show you guys how to do that today. Ooh, and a special bonus for you guys. We're going to be setting up the Sailor Jupiter board for me and I will be skating this board eventually. I'm very excited to walk you all through the steps on how to set up two boards. So Kurt is going to walk you guys through the components that you're going to need to set up a complete skateboard. Yep, and here's what you'll need. You'll need a deck, a sheet of grip tape, a set of trucks, a set of wheels, a set of bearings, and a set of hardware. When shopping for skateboard supplies, please check your local skate shops first. They're small businesses that could use your support You'll get the best advice and tips there as well. So we're about to go from this to this. Now let's show you guys how I did it. Let's go to the garage. All right, so now we're out in the garage. This is my workbench. You don't need a workbench. You can set a board up anywhere, floor, bench, table, pretty table, something you have this flat surface you can work on. Now I'm going to go over the tools you will need. You're going to want a skate tool. I got mine off Amazon. This one's nice. It has a ratchet in it. And if you don't have access to a skate tool and you have access to the regular wrenches, you're going to want a 9 16 wrench. It can either be open-ended or closed-ended. Same with a half inch wrench or a 3 8 inch wrench. These wrenches are only needed if you do not have one of these. Next, you're going to want a screwdriver. For the application today, all of our hardware is going to be Phillips head, so you want a Phillips head screwdriver. You're also going to want a box cutter or a razor blade. Now this is optional, but it's a nail. All we're going to use this for is to poke the holes through the grip tape. We are opening up the boards. They were still in the shrink wrap. The primitive Sailor Moon sticker. We have a requested spot for Sin where she wants this, so we're going to put it on. There's a wasp flying around and I'm freaking freaking out. He ain't scared, but I'm terrified. Getting ready to grip it. All right, so what did we do? So we have, what kind of grip did you get us? We have mob grip. This is a clear grip tape. It is a very good brand of grip tape. Before you peel the back off of it, place the grip down on the board and kind of feel around so you know how much overhang there is. So as you can see, the edge of the board is there. Here's your grip, you have a little bit of overhang. That's the excess you're gonna be cutting off. You'll peel the paper backing. And it'll be important you wanna keep this paper backing for a step here shortly. So this grip is pretty flimsy, so you wanna be careful. What I wanna do is go from the nose of the board first, make sure I have a, enough to go over the edge, and also try to use the fact that it's clear to help line up where it's going. So you'll go down from one end, kind of press it as you go. And there will be air bubbles, but we'll work on that. And as you can see, you can see the see the moon logo and everything. That's why we got the clear grip. Try to keep it from creasing. And there you go. You want to lay this over the top of the board. Kind of use your hand. Push out from the center any of the air bubbles. And as you can see, it's starting to close up any of those air bubbles. So this may not get all your little air bubbles out. If you do have any little air bubbles left over, say like that, you can use a blade, put the grip, and the air should go away. Now some of these holes will work themselves out in time from standing on it and riding it. Obviously I know this one isn't gonna get ridden, but I'm going to do my best to get all these bubbles out the best that I can. Okay, so now that we've got the grip tape applied, it's time to score around the edges, and I'm going to use a screwdriver to do that, and I'm just gonna use the edge of it here. This does make a loud noise, but 
it's part of the process. If you're wearing any jewelry that you don't want to scratch up, now would be the time to take that off, which I'm going to do. <laughs> Okay, so now the edges are scored, and the reason why we do that is to give the blade a nice good edge to go off and it'll make a nice clean cut. And what I usually do is before I get started, I'll kind of get where the pocket of the board is, and you'll notice the pocket because it kind of dips down right there. And I won't get right up to the board, but I'll get just before it, and I'll kind of put a slit. And what that'll do is it'll give me a few pieces to cut off, but I can do it in sections. I always start on one of the long sides so I get used to my angle I'm cutting at. So you wanna cut that there and kind of hold that up with your hand. And it's kind of hard to see because this is a clear grip, but there's that edge here. You're gonna wanna follow that along and you're gonna hold your blade at an angle. You don't wanna hold it straight. You don't wanna hold it like this. You kind of wanna hold it at an angle. Here we go. See how it gives you a nice clean cut. And you can use your thumb as you can see under here so to help support the grip while you're cutting to keep it up and then i will take this all the way to the, about that other spot where i put that slit and then i will take the ss off okay so we finished gripping the team board now we're getting ready to grip the jupiter board and for this one i'm going to be using the primitive grip tape that came with the board Okay, so now I'm going to show you an alternate way to score the edges of the grip tape on the board with the escape tool. Some have a file on top that you can use to score along the edges of your board. So this was that defined edge I was talking about. You can see it's harder to see on the clear grip, but you can see it now on black grip. You always want to try to be at a angle like this when you're gripping. You don't want to grip right on top because then you're going to end up scratching all along the top of the board. So if you, when you do this, hold it at a slight angle like that, and you'll hit that kind of defined edge that's on the top of the board. Okay, so we've taken some of the excess grip, which is off one of the nose or tail, fold it over itself. And what we like to do is kind of blend in the edge of the grip to the board so it holds to the board better once you start skating. So you kind of just take it, just, you don't have to do very much, just, just kind of breaks that sharp edge off the grip that you just cut. Got both the boards gripped. This is where we're gonna use the nail. Now, you can see your bolt holes in this clear grip here. But that might not always be the case. Say you're using black grip tape like this one. What you're gonna to wanna to do, flip this over and you'll have your holes here. And all you wanna do is poke that through so you can, you can see that like that. And you wanna use something kind of sharp because if you don't, you'll end up breaking through it as opposed to poking through it and that'll end up ripping the grip tape. We can see the bolt holes here, but we're still gonna go ahead and poke through the clear grip tape. So now we're going to put the trucks onto the board with the hardware. Already opened the hardware, and these particular ones are multicolored. We have a few different colors here, so we're going to do one of each color on each side. Just push the bolt through there, like that. So now we have one of each color. So now you want to take your truck, and you always want to make sure you put this part facing into the center of the board. That's a very important step, because if you put it the other way, you're going to turn opposite way. you think you're going to turn. Pro tip. So you'll have your bolt holes and those line up with the hardware like that. With each set of hardware, it comes with eight bolts, eight nuts. You will, for now, hand tighten the nut until it doesn't go anymore. And just repeat that step for the other three spots. Now, if you need to flip it around, you can. I've done this enough to where I can kind of get the feel for how this works. So I'm gonna try my best to match where I had my colors on the opposite side. Again, repeat the step of just hand tightening that nut on. Okay, so now it's time to actually tighten down the hardware to secure the trucks to the board. As you can see right now, everything's kind of loose. 
take our skate tool and use this ratcheting end. And when you're tightening, you can see right here on the tool, it has an R and an L. R for right, so it's righty tighty. L for lefty loosey if you're taking it back apart, but we're gonna put it on righty tighty. Most of these tools come with a screwdriver built into it, but for the ease of this video, I'm using an actual screwdriver. You can do the same. You wanna hold the head side of the screw in place with the screwdriver, and then you'll come back over to the other side and you'll start tightening down the hardware. Now you can hear the ratcheting, and just like that. You, you don't wanna suck the hardware too far into the board. And for the purpose of this board, we're not gonna go too deep. You want it to be about flush with the grip. And when you are setting these up, you'll kinda wanna go in a diagonal motion. So you'll go here, 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 here. Okay, so now the trucks are on the board. We are one step closer to having this fully done. So now it's time for the wheels. And we're gonna do something special with these wheels. Since this team board, we're wanting to try to keep it as aesthetically pleasing as possible. And these wheels came with a black graphic on them that we don't really want on there. There are a couple ways we can try to take them off. So we're gonna do so. So first we're gonna try some good old fashioned acetone. Perfect. Perfect. Took that right off. This is the best result right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, the wheels are all cleaned up now. No more graphic. Now it's time to put the bearings in. Here we have our bearings. Eight bearings, four wheels. Each wheel will get a bearing on each side. These bearings are the same size as this axle, so it'll be a tight fit and a smooth roll. There is one easy way. I don't have this tool. It's called a bearing press, but we don't have one of those. So this is the next best option. What you want to do is take your axle nut off. And if it's on there tight like that, you'll take your skate tool, which will have two sizes on the side. This one's for your kingpin here. This one's for your axle here. So you'll just loosen that a little bit and then you can unscrew that by hand. You'll take one of these two washers off, leave one on the inside. And now what you'll do is you'll take your bearings, put them both on there like that and do this and just kind of press down and you can spin the wheel make sure it's not wobbly and that's that way you know you have the bearing all the way on the wheel and then you just flip it over repeat that process you have your wheels that spin so you'll put this washer back on like that that back on like that and you, it's only finger tight right now but you'll want to tighten it down remember righty tighty want a little play but not that much a little less about like that that's about how much play you want in the wheel and just like that this one's done so Kurt and Sin designed this board together right down to the pearly white trucks to the pink and white wheels, to the blue bearings, and the colorful hardware. They look good. Yeah. Yeah. Good job designing Sins. Oh, it's so freaking beautiful. Yeah, I'm very happy with how it came out. This is exactly what I pictured in my head. You did? Oh, That's how, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's the most kawaii skateboard <laughs> I have ever seen. And then yours came out really nice too. I know you weren't color coding anything on purpose. Jupiter looks amazing. How proud are you? I'm very proud. You are? <laughs> Especially with this one, I like really like how it came out. Woo! Amazing.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. We hope you enjoyed it. Kurt actually really had a lot of fun showing you guys how to set up a skateboard today. I love setting up skateboards. You can tell he's got it down. He's really good at it. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think of the skateboards Kurt built today down there in the comments below. Which one ended up being your favorite? The one that looks more Sailor Mooney with the cute pink colors and the colorful hardware or the one that's actually built for actual skateboarding, the Sailor Jupiter deck. If you guys enjoyed this video today, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Anything that we talked about in this video today, we will have the link to it in the description below, as well as any additional information we think you may need. However, if you find that your question was not answered in the description and you want to ask a question for Kurt, feel free to drop a comment below if you have any additional questions, cause I will ask Kurt and I will reply with his answer. Oh yeah, he's got a YouTube account too. So I mean, he doesn't post any videos, but he can reply with his account. Yeah. So you may see him down there in the comments with y'all. Yeah, I will definitely keep tabs on this video for that. Okay. So yeah, if you have anything you want to say to Kurt, feel free to drop it below. Uh, we're tired and hungry from this. I mean, this took a while and it was really hot today in our garage. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and leave. But if you guys have any other video suggestions that you might want to see Kurt and I do, feel free to throw us some suggestions if you want to see him back on the channel because pretty much we're done. We're done with them. We don't need you no more because we're done with all the Sailor Moon Primitive stuff. What about Pokemon? Oh, you want to come back for some Pokemon? I love Pokemon. Yeah, okay, he actually wants to do some Pokemon openings. So if you guys like Kurt and want to see some more of him in my videos, check out those Pokemon videos coming soon to the channel. Bye, guys. I think we're done. Bye.